I was originally gonna call this cocktail Up From The Depths, but I clearly gotta save that one for a Hanna-Barbera Godzilla, right? So instead, I'm calling this Cthulhu cocktail The Sunken City, and it's made with a melon liqueur, lime gin, dark spiced rum, cucumber vodka, coconut rum, blue curacao, palernum, lime juice, and cherries. To make this drink, in your shaker, combine two ounces of a melon liqueur, three quarters of an ounce of a lime twisted gin, three quarters of an ounce of a cucumber vodka, three quarters of an ounce of a coconut rum, three quarters of an ounce of blue curacao, a quarter ounce of falernum, a quarter ounce lime juice, and a quarter ounce of a sea monster dark spiced rum. Shake to mix and then pour that into a Collins glass filled with ice. Top it off with a couple of bright red cherry eyes and enjoy. Cheers. While YMSF is best known for their six inch vinyl Godzilla figures, they've been branching out into other horror realms like their Wendigo and this Cthulhu. Unlike the smaller Godzillas, these Cthulhu stand at eight and a half inches tall at the top of their wings and come bagged with a header card. For this one at least, the bag is quite thin and the staples were too small to keep it all together. Now this specific release was exclusive to DesignerCon 2022 and sold at the Tempting Toys table for 150 bucks. Cast in a translucent green vinyl, the only paint on this guy is the red on the eyes. As much as I love translucent green figures, which is one of the reasons I got this guy in the first place, there's a lot of detail on this figure that is lost without a proper paint job. I'm tempted to paint it up a bit to help those details pop. In the meantime, this guy features a full 360 degree swivel in the waist, full 360 degrees for the tail, and what would be full swivels in the arms if it weren't for the wings blocking the way. While the wings are separate pieces, they don't feature any articulation. This guy is pretty back heavy, and since it doesn't really have heels, you may have to lean it back on its tail to get it to stay upright. Now, I'm not sure where you can still get this one specifically, but as of the recording of this video, there are a few different Cthulhu variations on eBay for two to three hundred bucks, or you could cut that cost in half and get some of the ones on Mandarake for only 15,000 to 25,000 yen. Or just keep an eye on the YMSF Instagram to see what colorway is next. Either way, thanks for watching, think twice before pledging your allegiance to an elder god, and always drink responsibly.